Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am kind of doing an intro to a swatch video and showing you some other products from the same brand. So today I am reviewing and swatching for you the Dip Into Pretty polishes. There is a total of five and they're all actually really good and impressive. This was the first time I had ever heard of them and I was really pleased. So be sure to continue watching so you guys can see the swatches. First up, I'm going to be swatching On Point, which is a super, super light pastel-like pink. And might I just say, I love this color. Like This is like the perfect light pink. So as you can see here, it is applying really nicely. It is a tad bit streaky in spots, but for the most part, I mean, it's gone on pretty evenly. I like the brush. It's easy to work with and even though like it's a cylinder like candle where it's really thick, which I'll show you guys in just a second, it's not too hard to use. I've actually found it pretty easy to use. Sometimes that's actually better than like super thin handles just because I feel like you have more, more to hold on to, which is nice. I know like some people that have carpal tunnel, like they want something thicker to hold on to. So if that is you and you want to paint your nails, this is actually a really good lid for you. you have, it takes getting used to, but for the most part, I really enjoy it. So there is one coat of On Point. I'm going to show you the lid real quick. See, it's really, it's pretty bulky for the most part, but it's actually really nice and easy to use. So there's one coat. Now we're going to go in for our second coat. As you can see, even once it is dried, it's still a bit streaky in a few bit, few little areas. I still like really love this shade of pink. I just think it's so pretty and so very spring. I have worn this and you guys are going to see it in some nail art very soon. Actually at the end of this video. So there is two coats and as you can see, it is definitely at full coverage. And I just, I can't get over how pretty this pink on pink is on. And apparently I can't speak tonight, so I apologize in advance. This is just such a pretty, happy pink. I feel like this kind of pink is hard to find. Because usually you find them, you know, they're too, like, they pull too much lavender. Or they're too red or too, like, Barbie pink. But this is just, like, the perfect pastel pink shade. So there is two coats of On Point and we definitely have full coverage. Okay, next up we are moving on to a brighter pink and this one is called Dip Into Pink, which is a play on their name since their brand name is called Dip Into Pretty. This one it does have a metallic like scattered shimmery glitter throughout it and it's really lovely. I love this type of a bold pink. I feel like it's going to appear brighter on camera than it actually is in real life. So if you picture it the way you're seeing it, dull it down just like one brightness. <laughs> this one has a really great formula. As you guys can see, like that is good on one coat, which I'm really happy about because this polish is gorgeous. Of course, I am going to go ahead and do two coats just so you guys can see if the color changes or anything. That way you guys will be able to know. But there is two coats. I absolutely love the little glittery bits, shimmery bits, whatever you want to call it in it. I just think it is really pretty and it makes for a really fun spring polish. Okay, it is now time for our second coat of Dip Into Pink. It's just such a lovely pink, honestly. So there is two coats on the index finger. And there as well. I just really love this pink. I think it's very pretty and I feel like it's going to look good on a lot of skin tones. So there is two coats. Now you may notice I still have dip into pink on but there is a topper in this little collection so I thought I would show you on top of this one. It is called City Lights and basically it is a scattered holographic glitter which is just 
gorgeous. It is super packed, so you get a lot of glitter payoff in just one coat, as you guys are seeing here. Obviously, you could wear it by itself or over a silver to get more of a holographic look, or even you could wear it over like a linear holographic just to bring it to the next level of hello. Also, if you wanted to like wear it by itself, I might suggest sponging it. That way it'll kind of absorb the clear base and you will just get a ton of glitter. But as you can see, one coat of that on here has a lot, a lot of glitter. So that is really fun. You are going to see it used again later in this video when we do some nail art. Now we are moving on to a red called Paint the Town. This is not a red cream. This is actually a red that has a gorgeous scattered shimmer in it that I do think you guys are going to really like. It is very lovely, as you guys can already tell. This has a great formula. It's applying so nicely. It is still a tad bit sheer, so it actually creates like a pink tone to this red polish as you put it on on your first coat. However, it will deepen in a second coat. It's just a really lovely polish to work with. As you can see with this one and the past two, but three, I guess you saw. I mean, they're all really nice and easy to apply. Great formula. Now it is time for the second coat of Paint the Town. There's just so much shimmer in this, and it's just like a gorgeous, lovely, fancy red. And there is two coats of that. Gorgeous. Now on to the last swatch bit of this video. We have a polish called Girls Night Out, which is, I'm going to show it to you actually on camera first. It is this gorgeous like cobalt blue that has a purple, almost a greenish goldish shimmer in it as well. On the nail, I will go ahead and spoil it by saying that basically only the blue cobalt tone shows up, but you guys are going to see that for yourself. This polish, again, is super nice. It's different from the rest because it is a blue. It's definitely not in the warm red or pink family. And as you can see now, it is rather on the sheer side. It's kind of got a jelly-like base. Definitely like a grayed out navy. But as you can see, even though it is a very sheer polish, it is applying really nicely and... I mean, for the most part, it's going on pretty evenly, which you don't usually get on sheer polishes like this, especially for be being such a dark color. So there is one coat of Girls Night Out. Makes me think of G&O, you know. Maybe that's totally a G name, but that's okay. So there is one coat. Now we are moving on to our second coat of Girls Night Out, or as I like to call it, G&O, like the song. Now, with this second coat, you can really see it like really deepens the color and brings it to complete coverage. Now, for some of you, if you have super bold nail lines, you might want a third coat, but I feel like mine are moderately bold, if that makes sense. And I feel like it covers up that nail line pretty well. At least enough that I'm happy with it. And I feel like I'm pretty particular about it. And I'm not having any issues with two coats. So there is two coats of Girls Night Out. It really is a lovely polish. I do wish that the purple to green to a little hint of gold the shift showed up. But even though it doesn't, I am perfectly fine because this is a gorgeous shade. Okay, so next up, I'm going to move on to some nail art using City Lights, which is this gorgeous holo topper you guys saw me swatch earlier. So as you can see, I've already got some of the polishes on, and I'm using the bolder pink to dot on some random ununiform dots, which are going to become flowers later. Now I am using the sparkly glitter just to kind of dab it towards thicker towards the cuticle and 
lessen it as I go down the nail just to create a gradation. Now I'm going in with some yellow acrylic paint and putting some little star centers into the pink flowers. This you can do any color with. I just thought yellow would be super fun and springy. I am using acrylic paint for these bits, as you could tell, because I'm using a different style of brush. However, the pink was done with nail polish, as you guys saw already. And I'm just going to continue to dot these throughout the nail. They're kind of like little stars. Granted, you can't really tell because it is yellow on top of pink. But now we're going to get a little bit closer and add in some green, like, fern-shaped leaves instead of your traditional flower leaves just to give it more texture. Not real, not real texture, just bring the pattern more to life, if that makes sense. And for this, I'm kind of using a light green. Later, we will go in with a darker green just to give more dimension to the overall design. But for now, this is good. And you can put in as many or as little as you want. You just kind of want to fill up the pink space to make it look like a full floral-like nail. And that's that's what you're doing. And then I'm going to go into the little yellow stars that I put in and put in little green dots just to kind of give a greenery feel around the yellow. Now I'm going to go in with a light purple shade and just kind of do the same thing I did with the daughter just to have them even more like spaced out I'm not worried about getting the paint super thick either because I'm going to go in with purple as I did here and kind of got it off camera for some reason and create like petal shapes and now I'm going to go in with that more of a mossy green and it's just a fill in random leaves here and there to give it an overall complete look. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on the glitter topper on my ring nail just to give it a full accent nail and because it's gorgeous as you guys can see and now it is time for a top coat. I try to make that as quick as I can because I've realized that this video is really long but hopefully you guys have enjoyed seeing this fun spring inspired look because I'm pretty sure we all are ready for that spring weather. So that is it. Now we are going to take a look at the final manicure all done. And then I'm going to go over a few more things. Okay, now that we have the swatching done, I think you guys could tell that they're really nice polishes. I was quite impressed and happy with the formula. Also, they are five free, vegan free and cruelty free, which is great. I love that more and more brands are doing that and promoting it as well because there are a lot of what I would consider mainstream brands that aren't even up to five free yet. So I think that's really great for people to start doing that more overall. So apparently a dip into pretty actually started as this, which they're basically those little separators. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting like feedback on the packaging. But they're basically the separators that a lot of people use when they're doing their toes. Now, I haven't used them in a long time because they have always been, you know, like so close together. And those were always awkward, in my opinion, when you're doing your toes. And it just made the whole process even more awkward. But these are different. So I'm going to show you. These aren't all connected, which really helps. They, You kind of get to just like pick how you want them to go. So these are like their flower edition. And they're really cute. And if I open the packaging, ah, you can see they're all independently. So done. I'm not gonna like demonstrate it for you because people are weird about feet and that should be kind of weird. But so basically they are individually put in so you can place them. There's nothing connecting all of them. So that just makes that process feel better in my opinion. In my opinion, I can't speak. And they sent me these cute little flower ones, which they're kind of like a pearly white, but then they've got some iridescent shimmer in them, which I don't think the camera is going to pick up, but I will try to capture on camera later up close for you guys. And then they also sent these like jewel shaped ones that are turquoise. And again, you're getting the, the light feedback, but it's kind of fun and really practical because I always hated the little foam thing that, you know, went all the way around like the whole thing and it just connected and it was kind of awkward. So I think these independent ones are really nice and I'm definitely going to try to like get used to using things like that because I feel like it's going to be a big help. Definitely on like your pinky toe in my opinion because I feel like that's always like one that's likely to get smushed when you've got wet polish on. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these polishes and these products. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this and check out some of the previous videos. There are a lot of new videos coming up and I can't wait to share with you. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!